books together. So it's always fun um, to think about how you you yourself are a transplant, obviously, to the United States. And um, in this story, Gabby is also a, a transplant to the United States, yeah. which works out very nicely for your reading it. <laughs> What's it like for you to, to read the books? Um, I, I have taken to reading the books like a duck to water. I just love it, and I'm not sure why I love it so much, but I I find, and I sort of knew that I'd be able to do this just from the readings that I do at events. It's very easy for me to completely immerse myself in their worlds and to inhabit my characters to the extent where everything else drops away. And, and when I'm at an event reading, I do, I forget that I'm reading and I'm just, I become my characters. Um, and I, I, I adore reading the books. There's just something, um, they, it brings them to life for me. I mean, obviously they're all alive in my head, but somehow speaking it. It's also very interesting, and I, I, I keep saying next time I'm going to do this, you, I think that I understand the rhythm of my words when I'm writing them, when I'm reading them in my head. But when I'm reading them in a studio, it throws to light all kinds of, of mistakes and, and clunkiness that I, I don't realize. And so I, I keep determining to read it out loud as soon as I finish that first draft, but I haven't got, <laughs> I haven't got around to it Well, it takes yet. a long time, as you know. It does, <laughs> days and days, yeah. You generally write a book a year, is that right? Well, up until now, and now I've gone to two books a year. Um, I, I have just signed a new deal, which is a six book deal, two books a year for the next three years. Um, people keep saying, oh, that's a lot. Are you, are you sure you can do it? And the truth is, we're living in an age of instant gratification and people want more and more and they want more and more and more and more quickly. Um, and as soon as people have read one of my books, they're saying, you know, when is the next one? Why do we have to wait? So I'm very cognizant of that fact. Who do you feel are the writers who've influenced you most? There are a couple of writers. Um, one of them actually is Armistead Mopin. Um, his Tales of the City series, I absolutely loved. And I, I think what he writes about, which a couple of the other authors that I love also write about, A.M. Um, Holmes is one, um, is this concept of, of family of choice. You know, disparate people who wouldn't necessarily come together come together and create a family and I, I guess because I am a transplant and and you know I've lived in America for 13 years now um, I've had to create my family of choice here you know my, my my family of origin are a long way away I don't see them very often so I've gathered a group of friends who really have become my family and I'm always drawn to writers who who write about that same thing it's really interesting you say that because we don't really think of, of step families as being that, but in a way, that they are that. You have to, mm. step children have to, to, and step parents have to choose to make each other family in the way that, yeah. that biological families are family. That's yeah. why. And you notice in your book sometimes that there's, there can be a lot of, everyone who has step families, there's a lot of conflict that yeah. can happen. Yes, absolutely. I, and I, which I, I covered in, in another piece of my heart. Um, you know, we're all busy. We're all kind of, well, I don't know that it's lazy so much as, as we just get caught up in the pots and pans of life. We get caught up with, with our kids and, and running around and doing things for school and work. And, and it's really easy to forget to pay attention to the people you love. I, I think what I'm trying to do more than anything else is, is reflect. Um, you know, I'm not interested in writing capers or crime novels or mystery. Work. I quite like to write a mystery, but I don't think I could do it. Um, but I, what I'm interested in doing is, is reflecting the human experience. So, and I think even if we've never been through it, I'd like to think that I'm writing in a way um, that we, where we can imagine uh, how it might be. You know, obviously the woman's, a woman's perspective is very um, important in your novels, but you also really explore how the husband, Elliot, feels in this story. Yeah, I um, yeah, I, I have been accused in the past of not writing very strong male characters. And I think in the last couple of books I've written, the men have been stronger. And I, I felt a tremendous amount of empathy. 
actually for well for Elliot but but also for Gabby also for for my protagonist I really felt that that this was a woman she she loves her husband she doesn't want to hurt her husband um, and and I, I felt empathy for all of them um, you know I, I think for a really long time I thought that affairs if, if somebody has an affair there has to be something very wrong with their marriage there's some there's a fundamental flaw that is what sends them out to into someone else's arms and I no longer think that and do you think that you will continue to set your books in the United States or do you ever think about sort of returning to to the United Kingdom for for settings well I spend so little time in England not by choice, actually. I, I'm beginning to really miss it. But, um, you know, my life is here. I'm with so many kids and, and, you know, you can't just pile everyone onto a plane and fly over all the time. Um, I'm, trying to spend, I'm trying to spend more time in England. And I'm definitely um, trying to put the English back into my books. So for a while, my books were completely American. And I, I think that's not good. I, you know, I am English. My sensibilities are English, and I have, you know, a huge and wonderful uh, readership in England. I also think it's quite nice for my American readers to get that little glimpse of, of England. I, I can't, I can't imagine setting a whole book in England. Although Saving Grace, um, about just under half the book is set is set in England, but it start, it, you know, it, 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 you have a chunk in England, then it comes back to America. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah. That's a nice change. Yeah. That'll be fun.